Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Lisa Michelle. So today's reading is a timeless reading. Um, so it doesn't matter if you fall across the video when I upload it, or if it's a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, whatever. It really doesn't matter if there's a message for you and it resonates for you. Time is irrelevant. So without further ado, let's start pulling your cards but first of all i just want to um tell you about the deck i'm using today so we're, i'm using the uh the good tarot by colette baron reed and this is such a beautiful deck there's such soft gentle images in this deck that even the more um depressing cards um have a lovely light-hearted feeling towards them so without further ado let's get shuffling and see what message they have for you today okay okay so we have the king of water which is traditionally the king of um, cups now if this is representing you or a person around you or this could be an energy around you this is um, somebody very compassionate somebody very kind somebody very generous caring somebody very much in control of their emotions so let's have a look to see why control uh, of the emotions is, is necessary right now so let's have a little look at what next card we have for you so we have the five of earth which is the five of pentacles now traditionally this card um, is about the feeling of lack is about feeling um, ostracized or left outside, um, feeling a feeling of poverty, a feeling of lack, but which you haven't really got because if you look, she's got four pentacles to her right um, and one larger pentacle then to her left. But in this card, she's actually looking at the four pentacles, albeit her eyes are closed, yes. But um, I do feel like this is somebody who... Um, is aware of what they've got so not so much what they're lacking they know what they've got but they're still working towards that final piece of the jigsaw to to feel complete so maybe there's emotional control needed around something that you're working on um, to help you move forward with maybe a relationship a business or a career move is there something or someone that's you know making you really call upon your your kind caring nature and be in control of your emotions while you focus on finding this missing piece of jigsaw so let's have a look what's next for you oh beautiful we have the strength card look how beautiful that card is you know that's just this is all about having the inner strength um, and power to move forward with something a situation um, which is just beautiful when you have the strength card this is telling you that you have got the strength within you to do whatever it is that you need to do okay so we'll have a look to see what else we've got uh, in your reading so oops, let's keep pulling the cards Mm, the Queen of Earth. Okay, so the Queen of Earth, which is the Queen of Pentacles traditionally, this is somebody very practical, very dependable. This is somebody who is um, financially secure, um, grounded, very focused. So it's great that you've got emotional stability. You've also got um, financial stability. Um, so I can understand now why the five of earth isn't giving me the feeling of lack. This is a feeling of I need to kind of keep a focus on something and use my inner strength on doing something to move forward to get to this position um, of finding that missing piece or just to complete this, this um, five of pentacles situation that you're in. Um, so let's have a look what else we've got for you. Oh, the magician. Oh, look at him. He's looks like Father Christmas. 
Okay, this is such a beautiful card. Now the Magician card is um, the Manifestation card. So I think whatever it is that you're doing, you know, this is telling you that you've got all it takes. You've got everything you need, all the equipment, all the tools, all the skills, the knowledge, the experience. You are the master of what it is that you're doing. You just need to call upon your inner strength and keep going with whatever it is that you're working towards. So this feels like a really exciting time for you. Um, let's get some more on this. So what are you manifesting? What is, what is it that you're actually manifesting here? Okay, so we have the Ace of Earth. This is such a beautiful card. Let's just try and get that in shot for you. Okay, now with the Ace of Earth, which is traditionally the the Ace of Pentacles, um, this is a new beginning in something for you. So something that you've been working hard towards is is giving you something new. There's a new offering on the cards for you, and if you see this, you know this deer here. He's standing tall and proud, um, and you've got this beautiful scene here which reminds me of just the sun's rays coming in and just warming the whole um kind of atmosphere around the deer and just and just that feeling of focus security um independence so the ace of earth this is the it is, is definitely a, a new opportunity and it's, it's offering a new opportunity for you um so yeah, there's something really new and exciting coming off the back of you, completing this cycle, being in control of your emotions, using your inner strength to move forward, focusing what you've got and just trying to pull all your energies together and all of your skills, your knowledge and your, 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 um, all your manifestation of, of making this happen. It's, it's going to bring a new, new beginning for you that's really, really exciting. Oh my gosh, I really want to know what um, what it is that's happening for you guys. This looks really, really positive. Um, so let's see what else we've got going on. Okay, oops, so we've got two cards that just come out here. Oh, interesting. Um, so we've got the Seven of Fire. I'm just going to pop that in the middle there so you can see it. And the Five of Fire beautiful cards okay so let's start with the seven of fire first so the seven of fire which is traditionally the seven of wands um and this is saying that regardless of any challenges or obstacles or any competitive struggles that you've got going on uh, within this journey that you're going on or you're going to be going on um, you can get over these challenges you can get over these obstacles you can get through this this, I don't know, I don't think it's going to be a difficult time for you in all honesty. There's, there's too much positivity. You've got the King and Queen and the Strength card, which is telling me that you're in, um, you're in control of your emotions, you're in control of your finances, um, which is why you've got the ability to, to get through and power through these struggles and any um, obstacles and challenges that are in your way. Now, the five of fire traditionally, which is the five of wands, um, this again is around competition. So to have the seven of fire and, and the five of fire together, you're definitely going to be coming up against some challenges. But that said, you are going to have everything you need, the, all the skills, the knowledge, the tools, the, the power, the inner power, the emotional control, the emotional balance, and also the, the kind of finance to back you to do whatever it is that you're doing. This is such an exciting time for you. I, I absolutely love this reading. I love getting these positive vibes. And I just think sometimes that when you have a seven of fire, a five of fire, that sometimes you need these challenges to keep you on your toes, to keep you stimulated, to keep you interested. And I very much think that these challenges and these obstacles and these conflicts that, that are getting in the way sometimes, you love, I think you thrive under pressure, I think you thrive under um, uh, 
competition. I think you're quite a competitive person, which is why you've got all of this stability around you within the challenging and, and quite, um, well, quite a situation with a lot of obstacles in that, that, are, that can be challenging, but you will get through them. You would absolutely have everything you need to get through them. So let's, let's see what else we've got for you. Oh, beautiful. The Ace of Water. I was going to say wands then because we've got quite a few wands in there, but the Ace of Water. Look at that. When I think of a seahorse, I think of how strong they are, um, how they can kind of stay still and not move in really strong currents. So again, this is kind of confirming the emotional um, control that you have. And again, this is a new beginning, so this kind of complements the Ace of Earth that you're going to very much, um, well, there we go, that looks like a little oyster, and I just, when I see this, I think, the world is your oyster, so regardless of what's going on, what's happening, this card is telling me that this is going to open some really wonderful new opportunities for you, and it's going to be life-changing, it's going to be an amazing time for you, and you're going to have the strength to get through any challenges that might come your way. This is just beautiful. So let's see what else we've got. Let's just pull a couple more cards um, and see where where this is going. But I, I just feel like regardless of the challenges and conflicts and competition that you're, you're up against, um, you've just got everything you need to get, get through this. Okay, so we've got the, the Four of Earth. Now, the Four of Earth, which is the Four of Pentacles, is, again, financial stability. So you've definitely got financial stability. It can also be a little bit, um, a bit controlling. So with this card, can you see she's kind of releasing, releasing something from her hands there? Is that a butterfly? Yeah, so she's releasing a butterfly from her hands there. And with butterflies there, they symbolize transformation. So I just think that, you know, this is a card that's telling you, this is a message saying that you've built all of this. You've got the emotional stability, you've got the financial stability. Don't hold on to it. In order for you to grow and keep on growing, you need to let go of some control. And this, the saying is, you have to spend money to make money. And that's the kind of feeling I get within this card, is that you know with the five of earth that you've got all that you need, you've just got that missing kind of piece of the jigsaw. And the four of earth is telling me that you need to just let go, um, give that a little bit more. Me, I'm thinking it's financially because it's all around the kind of uh, material financial sense with the earth cards and the pentacle cards. So if there is a bit of extra money that you need to put into a project or a venture or something that needs to kind of complete that jigsaw, let go, let go of that, invest in it. You have the, um, the means to do it, so just, just let go and, and be free with it, okay? So that's beautiful. Let's just get one more card and see if there's anything else then. And I'll I'll summarise what, what we've had in today's, whenever today is for you. Okay, final card, how beautiful. The three of water, look at that. The three of water, you're saying, I'm saying look at that. If you don't understand these cards and you don't know the meaning of tarot, the three of water is the three of cups. And what the three of cups represents is celebrations. It is time to spend with your family and friends and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Enjoy everything that you've achieved. Just, it's about enjoyment. It's about spending time out with your family and your friends and just having a joyful time. So, guys, if you've come to this reading today and this resonates with you, please let me know. Feel free to message me um, 
quietly I've got the dishwasher on in the background so if you can hear that bubbling away there that's what that was um, although it's quite apt for the water card the water sound anyway if you didn't hear it that's going to absolutely make no sense to you but yeah the three of waters the three of cups and this is just about having that celebratory kind of joyful time with your family and friends oh wow I feel like I just want to skip out of the kitchen into the garden right now because what a beautiful reading that is so just remember just to summarize just to give you an over overall kind of view of what's going on you are going to be coming up against some challenges some obstacles a bit of competition but remember you have all of the tools that you need you've got the emotional stability you've got the financial stability you couldn't ask for any more you couldn't ask for a more wonderful reading than this so yeah please let me know if this resonates with you because this really is a beautiful reading and I'm very nosy so thank you for letting me uh, do this reading for you today uh, I've been Lisa Michelle uh, if you like my readings please follow me on Instagram or subscribe uh, on YouTube uh, and I love I'd love to get your ideas for other readings for me to do for you so have a great day thanks for dropping in see you soon